Hello guys and welcome back to another session of VMB NP videos. In this video, I'll be reviewing the TWRP recovery by Team Win. So let's get started. Uh, I'll be reviewing it on the Moto G phone. So here it is. And uh, to it's switched off right now, as you can see. So to go to the recovery, uh, you need to press the volume down button and the power button. So let's do that. And uh, here we need to select recovery in the fast boot option. Yeah, so here it is, guys. So uh, now I'll be exploring all the other options which are. Uh, which you must know if you have to operate this recovery so let's go ahead and get started so there is this install option which uh, takes you to the file manager and uh, you can install anything that you need right from there and uh, wipe option has a direct option called uh, swipe to factory reset so if you want to do a factory reset just swipe this and uh, you can do a factory reset right there but if you want to do something else then you will need to go to advanced wipe and you can uh, select from the options given here that do you want to wipe the Dalvik cache, data, internal storage, cache, system or USB OTG or you can also repair or change file system and then you need to swipe to wipe out and this is a touch recovery so you don't have to use the keys go back and format data format data will format everything including the whatever advanced swipe has everything will be formatted in one shot in format data but here you need to type yes and click go but uh, I'm not doing that as of now so let's go back backup backup option you can uh, select what all you want to be uh, what all you want to backup and uh, after it is backed up then uh, you can uh, uh, see here no encryption and if you want to encrypt it you can even encrypt it here or if you want to enable compression, skip MD5 generation during backup, disable free space check, you can do all that and then swipe to backup. And you can also choose what you want to backup. Now let's uh, check the restore option. So in the restore option, uh, you can, uh, after backing up, uh, the restore options will come here and then you can uh, restore what the file you want to be restored and then mount. Uh, you can mount your data, cache, system or USB OTG or uh, whatever do you want and uh, at, at this point you can even connect a uh, USB cable and uh, transfer data as it's written here disable MTP as the MTP is uh, switched on as soon as you open the recovery and then let's go to settings and then uh, in settings it shows you zip file signature verification that is for if you are installing a zip file for example uh, google applications or another rom so uh, it will uh, do a signature verification for that that's the first option and the second option says use rm rf instead of formatting so that just formats it there's uh, nothing more in that skip md5 generation during backup it will skip the md5 generation because um, every time it backs up it uh, generates an md5 code and uh, and when you are uh, restoring it it always checks it again so uh, now let's go to the next option enable md5 verification of backup files so this will also check uh, the backup files md5 verification code and use 24 hours clock as you can see there's time displayed here and battery percentage displayed here and the cpu one second yeah the CPU uh, temperature displayed there so uh, uh, the time will be changed to 24 hours clock that's that's it and then uh, stimulate actions for theme testing this will just stimulate actions for theme testing and it won't do anything much now uh, vibration duration uh, because each time we click there's a vibration so you can uh, choose that and restore defaults uh, uh, restores it to the default and time zone and screen is nothing much so this is just a uh, screen like you can decrease the brightness if you want or uh, the timeout whatever now let's uh, go back 
and then after settings we let's go to advanced and then it has copy logs to the SD card so whatever we perform here uh, like any operation you perform here it generates logs for that and uh, if you want them to be copied to SD card you can do that here fix permissions is uh, you can uh, fix the permissions of all your applications but uh, sometimes it also happens that your uh, after uh, fixing the permissions your some apps might not work so be careful when you do this and then uh, file manager this is a normal file manager nothing more in that and then uh, terminal command you can uh, open the terminal command and uh, start typing whatever command you want and then reload theme and then adb side load that's it and then uh, after advance we have reboot which reboot system power off recovery or the bootloader so it goes to that option whatever you select so uh, then uh, let's see if we skipped out something mm, yeah i forgot to tell you guys that uh, this is a uh, TWRP recovery uh, which is version 2.8.6.0 as you can see there and then this option uh, the middle option shows you the logs we did not do anything so it did not show any logs but if you are performing anything all these logs will be generated here and then I told you earlier which you get copied to the SD card so let's go back no we need to press this yeah and now let's uh, reboot and power Thank you guys for watching, see you again.